So we bought uh, Place du Carousel at the Arcana August sales. The co-owners uh, kept a share. Uh, Bally Lynch kept uh, half of, of the filly and we bought uh, half of the other uh, partners. Place du Carousel uh, arrived at André Fab stable as a yearling after being bought. She showed plenty of promise as a two-year-old in late summer and André was hoping to start her. He thought he would be able to start her, uh, give her a run as a two-year-old, which uh, was the case. And she ran very well first time out and she was second in her maiden at Deauville on the all-weather. She was a beautiful filly, uh, well put together, good balance, good shoulder, short back, good hindquarters, lovely mover. Uh, she looked like she had a great temperament. She came into the pre opera off uh, a little bit of a break, but uh, Andre was confident that she would run a big race in the pre opera and she showed great acceleration on much slower ground that day. And uh, she just showed again how versatile she was. So she could have, she was very effective on, on, on pretty much all surfaces. Andre was very keen to run her in Deauville where she was, she was well in at the weights, if you like, in the, in the Gautour Beyond. She won, she won in, in style. Place du Carousel avec Botol. Botol avec Place du Carousel. Place du Carousel qui repart et triomphe devant Botol. And from there, Andre was keen to run in the pre froid where again she really, she really proved that uh, she, the step up to mile and a half was not a problem for her. Uh, she, in, she, that day, she beat the very, very smart performer, Erezin. And, uh, and so it was decided after that she'd take a chance, quite entitled to, in, in the Arc de Triomphe. She's very well bred. She's by a, a top uh, European sire, Lope de Vega, uh, who is a son of Chaman himself, was a champion in, in France. And her mother uh, won the Prix du Conseil de Paris on the mile and a half, and she was second in the Coupe Pomone as well. You know, good elements between the physical, the pedigree, and the attitude she had uh, to be a good filly. And she, she showed it on the track, and, and so now she's probably uh, one of the best filly to be offered uh, into a, a sale this year. And uh, you know, she tick all the boxes to, to be a future uh, potential racehorse as a five years old or, or broodmare.